Hi D23 fans, this is Aussie Disney Girl here. And Aussie Disney Girl's mum. Yes, very, very <laughs> important role in this video. As you can see, this is not my room in Australia. We are in LA right now, well specifically Anaheim at the D23 Expo. And we just got to go to the animation panel. Yep. Now I'm going to do a more detailed video about all the announcements when I get back home but I thought I would give you guys like the most up-to-date current information because I know you guys will be asking me in the comments and I want to give you the info that we can remember it that we can remember two and a half hours long <laughs> yes I have written some notes and I've taken some videos so I'll be able to compile it better later but anyway moving on First up, they did Disney live action. So obviously this is an animation. So first they did the Hocus Pocus 2 trailer. Looks pretty yes, good. Yes, and the originals are in, back yeah, in it. Yeah, all the originals are back. Um, it looks pretty funny. I think it's going to be an instant classic. There is a trailer reaction, which I will be posting. I think it's pretty good. There was no additional info mm. about that that we didn't already know, which isn't that surprising because it comes out in only a couple of weeks. So the next one, one of my favorites, <laughs> Disenchanted. I'm a massive Enchanted fan, guys. Yeah. I just, I'm, I really, really like it. I think it's amazing. I predicted in one of my previous videos that I thought Giselle was going to turn evil like stepmother, and she is. Yep, she did. Yeah, she did turn into that. And Morgan, I think, is going to be like the princess kind of role. Mm. So that was pretty good. There was a really funny moment in the expo where um, Amy Adams and Maya Rudolph came on stage in their like yeah. Disney outfits like they'd just come from the parks. It was funny. Oh, it was, it was really funny. funny. Those two are really, really funny. Mm. I I think I'm going to love the movie. It had it was full of fantasy and it seemed to have a lot of Indina Menzel and James Marsden in it. Yep. So they're not side characters. They're like in the plot, in live action form. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty good. And the costumes were awesome. And we saw a beautiful poster. I just, I'm obsessed. Okay, moving on. Um, next one was Peter Pan and Wendy. Now, this was interesting. It should be called Wendy. Yeah, I feel it was like the trailer was like 90% Wendy. And she did say yes. it was going to be 50% her and 50% Peter Pan. And it was like 90% Wendy. Yeah. So I barely well, saw well, Peter what Pan. We saw, uh, anyhow. Yeah, in the trailer it was very little Peter Pan, and I'm I'm very team Wendy. I played Wendy when I was a kid, so I love Wendy. And she had a fringe like me, and yeah, but it's very Wendy focused. So just a warning, and it's also very dark. It looked quite dark to me. Mm, yeah. yeah, and there's Lost Girls as well as Lost Boys, which yep. is good. Anyway, moving on to the next one, we have the Haunted Mansion. So that's coming out next year. The trailer was pretty scary. There was a moment with the Hatbox Ghost where it was like... <gasps> she scares easily too. I, I do scare easily. <laughs> it, it kind of gave me Jungle Cruise vibes. So that sort of movie, mm. which isn't surprising because it's a movie based on a tr an attraction. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. And they also revealed that Winona Ryder is going to be in it. And she's obviously a classic, like, horror person from, like, Beetlejuice. And Jamie Lee Curtis came in riding a Doom buggy. It was really funny. She didn't even say anything. She was just like, I'm Jamie Lee Curtis. She Here I am. And she didn't get out of the Doom buggy. She didn't get out. She just, she just went across. And that was pretty cool. And also that guy from Shit's Creek is in it. Dan Levy, I think. And Owen Wilson was also very funny in the trailer. Yeah. He, he's very funny. It's like all the good bits from Loki. He's really on the rise right now, on Owen Wilson. He's given a lot of good stuff. So I was impressed by his performance. Hopefully you'll see the trailer soon. It was very good. I liked it. Um, next thing, Snow White. I think that was also 2024 from my notes. I hope so. Oh yeah, 2024. Um, they only showed like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. It was probably like 15, 20 seconds max. Yeah. And we only got to see Snow White and the Evil Queen. We didn't get to see any other characters. It definitely was very lush. It was very green. And there was like a cottage and Snow White had that outfit in that we previously saw in the set photos. So some people are saying that's not her outfit. That's her outfit. It looks a little different because of the lighting and all that, but it's the long sleeve. It looks pretty good. Also, Rachel Zegler said it's a lot about Snow White becoming a leader and coming into her own, what it means yes. to be the fairest yeah. of them all. So that that is a good twist. Um, Gal Gadot looked 
pretty good as the evil queen. She yeah. looks scary. She and looks she looked stunning. like she was really enjoying the role. <laughs> yes, she like talked so long about how much she loved playing the villain. So I think she's gonna really eat that role up. She seemed yeah. super grateful. Those two seemed really psyched. That was the first time they'd seen any footage from the film. So they were pretty excited. Yeah. Anyway, um, what's the next thing? Oh, Mufasa, which is the Lion King prequel. Um, the main thing we found out from this is that Mufasa was not royalty. He was an orphan cub, which obviously, that's news to me. I had no idea. There you go. So, and they also showed like a tiny clip. It was only like a snippet. Yeah. Um, it's of um, Rafiki telling Timon and Pumbaa the story. In the thing, yeah, they mentioned, and they were weren't in this one. Or yeah, something. they weren't, they happy. weren't happy about they it. They were like, "Why can't you tell a story <laughs> with us in it? We don't feel seen." It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Um, so that looked interesting. We don't know a lot. There wasn't any cast members announced, which was strange. Anyway, the big one, The Little Mermaid. We got to see all a part of your world, and yep. I was so excited. Like when they announced they were doing it, I was like. Oh my gosh, this is the best news ever. It was really, really good. Yeah. Um, you've probably seen the teaser trailer. Ariel has um, a top on. It's not quite a bra top though. It's it's still like a short top. Like but a tube it, it's top. It's got like a tube top. It's got a bit more sleeves and her tail has a lot more fins. So it's not just like the basic. She's got, She's got a lot fins. of flowy bits um, and it looks really pretty. And she was in like a dark grotto singing. So it's a bit darker, the lighting compared to the animated, but still beautiful. Yeah. Still beautiful. And Flounder looked pretty good. Yeah. Flounder looked good. Um, really, really cute. The voice acting, excellent. And she's really appreciating playing the little yeah. mermaid. The one thing that really stuck struck me about Hallie was how nice she was. Like, on stage, she just seemed to be, like, so, so happy and so grateful. And, like, she just seemed like a really good yeah. person. She gave off really good vibes. Yep. And, like, part of your world is amazing. You guys are in for a treat. I think the Little Mermaid live action is going to be up there with Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. It just... Yeah, it was, it was so magical. And though a lot of people are saying that she sounds like Jodie Benson. She doesn't sound like Jodie Benson. No. She sounds like her, which is fine. She's got more of a um, contemporary voice to Jodie Benson. Jodie Benson was more like a, um, a musical theatre yeah. type voice. Hallie's more, like, yeah. contemporary, I'd say. But th that's fine. Like, she still sounded good. And she also optioned up a bit in certain bits. So if you're a singer, you know what I'm talking about. She, like, went higher. So instead of singing the normal note, she went up. Which yeah. makes it a bit more fancy and interesting. Yeah, she did make it more fancy. Yes. Yeah, so, so it is different. She's giving it her new little twist. So you won't be dealing with a shot-for-shot shot kind of remake. And she also did the I love to explore the world up above, like, in the same way. You know how she reaches up? Like, reaching up, that was the same. Yep. It was pretty good. I noticed that. Anyway, next thing, we're on to Pixar. Pixar was the next one to present. First up, we had Elemental. Now, I didn't know either of the two lead actors for Elemental, but their voice acting was pretty solid. Yeah. I thought they did a good job. Um, they showed us a couple of different things. They showed us how Ember, because she's a fire person, the world isn't made for her. So it just showed her a lot of like struggling to fit in, like, you know, for example, if you move to another country where you don't speak the language, it's that kind of vibe. Yeah, that's what they're trying yeah, to get across. Yeah, that's what they're trying to get across, you being in a new place and dealing with all these new things. And it also dealt with her friendship with Wade. And there's clearly going to be a love story yeah. going on there. They clearly like each other, so it's going to be a bit of a romance, which is a bit different for Pixar because they don't do that very often. And they showed a clip. It was very brief. Um, it had Ember going through different things, turning into colours from the minerals yeah. or something. It was something like that. I've, so it was something like that. And then Wade created a rainbow with the water. Yeah, and she yeah. created flames that were different colours. Yeah, so that was the thing. They were, like, showing each other the cool things that they could do. Yeah. So that seemed really good. I, I think that's going to be a good movie. Mm. Um, next one is Win or Lose. So, the animation for this is very cartoony. So, one of the characters that we saw didn't even have a nose. That girl with the green hair. Like, I was distracted. I couldn't stop thinking, why doesn't this girl have a nose? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> it drove me insane! I was like, why doesn't she have a nose? This is freaky! Other than that... Yeah, but th that freaked me out. The animation was very cartoony. It felt more like Luca 
that sort of animation style. Yeah. Um, but it's dealing with a whole bunch of different people. And we watched a tiny clip of the umpire. Um, the umpire of the baseball game. Yeah. So he had this whole thing with him putting on emotional armor to deal with rejection. There was a scene where he got rejected from the girl who has no nose. I think you can do better. And each episode <laughs> was going to concentrate on the different people, what they were yeah. doing. So we saw the umpire. Yeah. And the team episode. is called the Pickles. That's the name. Very, it's very make, cool. Making me hungry after I haven't eaten all day. Yeah. Yeah, we literally... I've had craisins and rice bowls. Yeah, I had a muesli bar and chips. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so, the next one was Elio. So, this is about a boy. I believe it was a Hispanic, um, Latinx, Latina. I'm not sure which one. But it was somebody from that sort of group. It's about a boy who um, doesn't really fit in. He's feeling a bit awkward. And his mum is like some sort of scientist. Mm. I had it. I've recorded it. So I'll be able to tell you. She's, she's done something. And what happens is that the boy, Elio, ends up making first contact with um, aliens. So he gets taken to this like alien planet. And he becomes like the human ambassador for Earth. Yes. Even though he doesn't really fit into Earth. At all. So he's like the representative of Earth. So um, America Ferrero, which I think that's how you say it, from Ugly Betty and Superstore is going to play his mum. Um, so she's really talented. I've enjoyed her performances. Um, the boy, I think, was a complete newcomer. I hadn't heard of him before. No. But he reminded me, if you're watching this, Ravi, he reminds me of you. I think you guys would be best friends. <laughs> they, they were so, like, they yeah. had the same sort of vibe. They had, like, a great personality. Yeah. Like, that really, like, big kid personality. It's really good. Confident. Really confident. You know, Spoke amazing. Really well. He was great. Like, I think they should, like, yeah. become best friends. So, I think you should meet. <laughs> anyway, that, that seemed like a good movie. Mm -hmm. I thought that sounded interesting. And then the big one, Inside Out 2. And Amy Poehler came on stage to announce it, and she's so funny. Like, oh my gosh, she plays Joy, in case you don't know. And the movie is going to be about Riley as a teenager dealing with emotions. And Amy did say that there's going to be more emotions. Yep. So it's not just going to be the normal ones, there's going to be some extra ones, and I'm presuming there'll be a hormonal emotion. Yep. Hopefully. I would, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably yep. something a teenager would be dealing with so I think that's going to be interesting yeah I think that's going to be good we didn't see any footage from it we only got to see a logo um so it's going to be a while away Pete Doctor is not directing though this time because he's busy running like the studio which is Fair understandable enough. like running studios hard job um so that was all for Pixar so moving on to my favorite Disney animation so First up, they showed a tiny bit of Zootopia Plus. So they're doing a bigger panel for Zootopia Plus, like tomorrow. So we'll find out some more. One thing that really stood out to me was this, there was a sloth sequence. There was a waiter who was tasked with dealing with sloths. Yeah. And he was very sad. He was like, I'm going to be here all night. This is the worst thing ever. And we're probably going to hear Kristen Bell because her character was in the footage. So you guys know how much I love Kristen Bell. So that was fun. Um, next one, we have Iwaju. So this is the African film company and they bought out the three guys that run the company and Jennifer Lee said it was their first time to Disneyland yesterday. Yeah. And they seemed so happy to be there. I mean, I can't even imagine like being in a studio getting rung by Disney. Mm. Like, we want to make your thing. So amazing. So I took video footage of this and there were a couple of complicated names. So I'm just going to give you the the basics. There is a rich girl, like a young girl, and there's like a poor boy, and they're kind of teaming up. And they had some sort of lizard character that's robotic that reminded me a lot like Bruni. Yes. So frozen. it's yeah. going to be about, you know, haves and have nots basically, and them joining up together. Mm. Like I took more video footage of that. I was a little yeah. confused because there were a lot of names that I didn't recognize, but I will create a video and I'll get it a bit more clearer for you guys. We saw a bit of footage. It was pretty cute. Yeah. I thought, I think it's going to be good. Obviously, these three guys that run the company have put a lot of their passion and energy into this. So I think it's going to be really high quality yeah. because it's obviously the like big break. Yeah. So yeah. they're really going to be trying to make it amazing. Um, what was next? Um... I stopped writing things down. 
Um, yes. Oh, yes. Strange World. So, we saw a couple of things from Strange World. We got to see the trailer. So, that was pretty good. I yeah. enjoyed the trailer. Um, I really... The one thing that stood out to me was how much Searcher hates his his dad. Yeah. And how much everyone always talks about, oh, Jaeger Clay, he's the best guy ever. And he's just like, I hate my dad. He's the worst Because they're, it's not similar at all. Yes. They're, like, not the same people. And he's like, I can't... I feel like he was annoyed that he wasn't getting any attention. Because yeah. everyone would just be like, I'm a big fan of your dad. <laughs> but Ethan, the younger boy, was like his grandfather. Yeah, he was more into adventure. And Ethan seems to be the one befriending the Splat, which is the blue creature. And they sh they actually said that um, Lucy Liu's character is the president of the, c the country. So she's like the head of the world. So that seemed like a really interesting character. Um, we got to see a clip of them all trying to find each other in Strange World. Said that they'd all been dumped and they were looking for each other. And they were trying to avoid getting killed by all the strange animals around them. There was a, there was a lot going on at that time. And um, generally, Searcher was just annoyed his dad was showing off. Um, Ethan was really happy. He was really loving the adventure. So that's the yep. kind of vibe that I got. Okay, and the next thing, which I think was the most exciting thing oh, yes. in the panel. You're very excited. Um, I nearly died. They are doing a thing called, a movie called Wish, which is about the wishing star. So they showed this whole montage before they introduced this film of all different Disney characters, like, wishing on stars. Like, you yeah, know, Pinocchio, like, Pinocchio. Jepe 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 there was the Tiana scene where she wishes on a star, you know, Cinderella. It was all this, like, wishing. And they said, this, of course, this is the 100th year of Disney. They're doing, like, a full-on, like, celebration of everything that have come. So it's, like, how the wishing starts, like, the origin of the yeah. wishing star. So they had a character called Asha. I believe her name was. I think her name was Asha. I might we'll correct that, that in the next we'll video. We'll correct that in the next video. Um, she's going to be played by Ariana DeBose, who recently played Anita in West Side Story, and she won an Oscar. So she's kind of a big deal. And she sang a song, and it was really good. I got the first part of the song before they told me to stop filming. But it was really good. So basically, she lives in a land called Rosa, I believe it's called. So it's like a magical land. It mm. seems like a bit... um. I don't know, it seems a bit like Latinx, Latina maybe, because I know Ariana DeBose is like black and I'm not um, sure. I think Colombian or not Colombian but, or Puerto Rican, something like that. I think it's like a magical land, but I think that's the vibe of it. And she wishes on a wishing star and one star falls down and that's what happens. And this wishing star doesn't talk. Um, he just kind of does pantomime. And we also met... Um, Alan Tudyk, who is hilarious, who has been in a lot of Disney films, he's going to be playing a main role in the film. He's going to be playing a goat. Yes. He seems to be my favourite in the movie so far. Yes, the goat was adorable. And his wish is to be able to communicate. So he can't speak at the beginning and he gets to communicate. And Alan Tudyk, he's got like a really deep voice. And part of the test was, oh, my voice is a lot deeper than I thought I thought it would be. So, and they also had stars coming down at the yeah. end. At the end, we had all these floating stars come down at the end of the panel, yeah. which was lovely. It was pretty good. I think that's all it was for animation. So yeah. it was Utopia, Iwaju, um, Strange World, and Wish. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. And one thing about Wish, it's going to be like a blend of 2D and 3D. So it's not quite 2D. And it's not quite 3D. It's it's different. And the Frozen team's doing it. Yes, and the Frozen team. So Jennifer Lee's writing on it, Chris Bark. So it's going to be like, it's going to be good. It has guys. to be good if it's the Frozen I, team. I was most impressed with that. After, out of everything I saw, that was the one I was like, that one. Yeah. That movie. I think I'm going to be obsessed with it. There's going to be a lot of coverage, except, except about uh, probably 200 Wish videos in the future. 200. I apologise now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm already obsessed with Wish. I think it's going to be really good. Anyway, 
that's all we've yep. got. If I got anything wrong, don't worry. I will be correcting it and creating a proper video. But I thought I would get this out like ASAP to let you guys know everything yep. that happened. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But I am on holiday. So I'll, I might be a little while. But I will do my best. And I'll create some proper videos with like images and stuff like that. Because I got a lot of video footage. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye and have a magical day. Ha <laughs> ha!